gross today. Um, I think it's just being in my apartment and finally feeling like I can exhale for the first time in a while. Um, not that I couldn't with my friends, it's just I don't want to cough on them, you know? So I'm just also really frustrated because my cough was keeping me up so late last night. It was like 2 a.m. before I fell asleep. Um, so then, of course, I slept in this morning, and part of me really wants to stay, like, so today is the last day of me just being in the apartment by myself. Um, my roommate, Sarah, is coming around 4.30, and then after that, it's just going to be people coming back. Um, I'm not really ready, honestly. <laughs> I kind of like having it be the sacred time, but at the same time, I know that this is necessary. Like, I know that it's better. And I also miss people, too. Like, I miss my roommates. And I, I'm saying this like I've been here for ages. The last, like, the last couple weeks, you know, it's been pretty much people constantly. So yesterday was, like, the first mostly day of quiet in at least a week, probably. So it's not like I've been doing this for a super long time, but that's part of why I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> like, you know, I thought I'd have a little more time. I had this, like, panicked cleaning session last night because I was like, ah, they're coming tomorrow, I'm not ready, and, um, yeah, that was, like, I was very, like, just very rushing the cleaning, and it needed to happen, but it doesn't have to happen like that, um, I just watched a video about, from one of my, like, another YouTuber I really like, and she said in that one, um, like, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything, right, like, or at least, you want to be as intentional with one area as you are in every area of your life. Um, and so I did feel that, like, oh, like, panicked rushing through everything. Like, I have been. And I know, like, with my capstone and all that stuff, too, I'm feeling that again. Like, I'm feeling this, like, I'm behind. Like, I'm so far behind. But I'm not. I'm really not. And, like, she didn't even come. She didn't even come last night. I didn't have to clean last night. But I still felt this, like, need to make things right or need to clean up the fact that I lived a relaxed time while I was here. Like, there's no shame in resting. There's no shame in, in relaxing. There shouldn't be. But it's still, like, hard to feel like you're behind because you kind of are. Like, there's a sense of, like, yeah, if you'd kept working, you wouldn't be as... Like, but at the same time, I know that me rushing around and getting things done and trying to get things done is why I'm still sick right now. And, like, why the time I tried to sleep, like, just didn't go well because I was still rushing it, you know? I was like, all right, we just got to hurry up and go to sleep, hurry up and wake up, and then hurry up and get through the day. The fact of the matter is you can't live that way for a long time. You can't keep that up for a long time. And... I also have almost a week still before school starts, like, I still have several days to myself before people are going to be demanding things of me. I gave myself a little bit of a deadline with my caps, not my capstone, my portfolio to say like, oh, okay, I'll have it done by the time spring semester starts. It's not, it's not even close, I haven't really even worked on it. Um, so I think that like, instead of making a specific deadline, it'll be better to just tell myself to start it. And give myself, like, all right, it doesn't matter that you don't have any projects in there that reflect the kind of work you want to do. It doesn't matter that nothing that you have is good enough. You still have to put it in there. And you still have to try to get a job that will help you put things in your portfolio that you will actually be proud of. And that's the hardest part, I think, is that I don't have anything in there that I'm excited about, you know? And I say that in, like, a... I was excited about them, and then the project finished, and I know I've outgrown it already. Like, I know those projects are already outdated. Like, <laughs> that's such a bad mindset, but that is what it feels like. And I know that that's a pretty common thing with designers, is we are almost like, all right, next thing, next thing all the time. But that's almost like a, a very limiting thing, because we can't always be making something completely new. And we also have to be proud of the work that we've done. We have to acknowledge it. Otherwise, we'll never be able to get a job in it or anything. And that's the hardest part, I think, is knowing that, like, it has to be good enough. Like, whatever my idealized version 
of a project would have been, that doesn't matter because this is the project that exists. And so it's a project that I have. Um, just like these vlogs, like, these aren't what I would have maybe wanted longer term. Like, I'll probably look back on them and be like, dang, I did that, but also, like, they weren't that impressive, you know? Like, I'll look back on it a little bit, and I know that's a terrible place, and I know sometimes I'm in a better mindset than others, but it's still really hard to be proud of things that I'm not doing anymore, or proud of the person that I was that I'm not anymore. I don't feel like those projects reflect me because they're not, you know? But that's the thing with design, it's not about me. Like, it's not, it's about solving a problem and showing how I think. <sighs> I guess it's just hard when it's been a little bit since those projects and I'm trying to start over instead of rebuilding on what was already there. I don't know where my original documents are for my previous portfolios, but I'm basically gonna have to start over. Um, I think that's the scariest part, but I'll probably, I'm gonna outline it like a story, like I have for most other comics and other things I've done. There's a narrative, and it has a goal in mind, it's trying to solve a problem, and having a physical printed portfolio, while it's not ideal, is better than having some idealized version of a website that doesn't exist, and projects that I don't know what to put on it. I don't want to try to put everything out there, you know? I don't want to try to do everything. I want quality content, but I also know that I'm gonna have to compromise on myself a lot just to get it done. I have to lower my standards to work on it. But in the meantime, I'm sick, so I'm gonna let myself be sick and not be stressed about everything at once. Um, but I am catching up on my vlogs. I did five of them yesterday. I, up to, I uploaded five of them yesterday. That's really fast. But it's also like, these vlogs that I made over break are shorter, and I know that, so processing is just not as much work. Um, I barely recorded for a few of the days, and in fact, I'm actually gonna skip one of them, because there was literally nothing. Um, but it's still better than, you know, completely giving up on this, so... I'm following through, and as soon as possible, I'll be back in my normal habits, and I'll be feeling like myself again, but for now, I'm just sick, so I'm gonna go read a book, and I'm gonna finish up these vlogs, and I'm gonna outline my portfolio, but that's gonna be it for me for now. I'm gonna make some coffee, too. Christmas present again. Um, finally had some time by myself in my house, so I'm getting through some of this tougher content. Um, it's really interesting. I think especially the beginning is going to be helpful. I think as it's going through more and more specific examples, the um, benefits aren't going to be as much, um, but I learned a ton about comics as well as the ways in which comics can be a huge medium for, for reaching audiences. Um, so I... Okay, another thing about me, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I, like, love comics. I used to make comics since I was, I've made comics since I was probably 13. It got me through that really intense science competition I mentioned, and it's helped me get through, like, drawing in general has helped me get through so much of the hardship that I've been through. Um, I think it's just been, like, such a big, helpful thing. So, I was trying to think through, and I've been trying to think through for a long time, how I can get myself to work consistently on drawing more, making more comics that are more self-expressive. Um, so I was like, all right, I don't really feel like doing digital medium right now. I'm in it all the time for sketching for school. I don't really wanna be in a digital medium for, for working through this right now. That original comics that I first drew were on like eight and a half by 11 sheets. 
and I would put them on like a clipboard and just sketch like that all the time, just draw page after page after page. Um, and I've kind of screwed myself up by trying to do it differently. It's not that I don't think like eight and a half by 11 pages aren't really the ideal for me, but like trying to continually change the way that I'm writing, the way that I'm doing things, I really ruined my creativity in the process. It took the magic out of it, it took the fun out of it. Um, you know, it, it, I think it lost a lot of the authenticity and it got too refined. So I was trying to figure out how to do something physical so that I don't get cut in perfectionism as well, because perfectionism a huge, is a huge temptation with digital media and you just end up being so unproductive because you're just undoing every single mistake you make rather than using those as learning points that really holds back your, your progress. So I went into my garage and I was like, hmm, I don't have any of my notebooks, papers left from my drawing class freshman year, but what I do have is a buttload of like grocery store bags. So I've torn them up and they are now flat, um, putting them in like a pile in my living room. And then I'm gonna start drawing on them. Don't ask me how it's gonna look yet. I have no idea, haven't thought that far. I'm thinking either Sharpie or like painting of some kind, like pen, not pen, paintbrush. I, I'm trying to avoid using too fine tip pens because I know that that perfectionism is gonna start creeping in and I'm gonna wanna really think about every single line that I'm making. Those lines will be helpful for later on iterations and cleaning things up and getting things more communicative, but I think that using these will be a really helpful medium. I also have some really nice like white pens, um, not pens, colored pencils that are made for drawing on darker media like this. Um, you know, there's tons of tinted paper out there. So there's a lot of resources for those. Um, but yeah, that's my thinking right now. We'll see. I haven't gotten there yet. One of my roommates is coming, I think I already mentioned that. One of my roommates is coming back this afternoon. Um, and then I'm also going to dinner at a friend's house. So it's going to be like a weirdly busy evening, but also not. So I'm going to be cleaning these up after I get them all ripped up and then, um, hopefully have the room house clean enough for, for my uh, roommate to come. It's really not dirty at all, but uh, there's just a couple things I need to finish up and then I'll be good to go. I'm going to try and get those vlogs done and scheduled before I leave, but we'll see. I might have to do it later on, but I am really far ahead now. So I forget how fast it is once I'm doing it. When you don't have access to a fast computer, it's really slow. <laughs> and if you get caught in editing too much, it's really slow. But I'm in a good spot right now with it and um, I'm excited for I don't know, discussing more of the stuff with you guys. I would love to talk more about that book I'm reading, but it's like a lot of information and a lot of like heavy information, a lot of like comics history and where we're at now with like graphic narratives and storytelling. But it'll be a story for another day once I actually have something to start telling you guys about. So that's where I am right now. Um, I'm going to try and do, I, I, knew, I know with this project, it's going to be like, personal story like it's going to be my own history um childhood and that kind of stuff so that's kind of where I'm leaning with it um other than that it's pretty open-ended as far as formatting style I don't know how I'm gonna look I don't know how I'm gonna draw things I don't know how the pages are gonna look formatted and I'm thinking it'll probably be some combination of physical sketching and then post um post photography scanning and then editing afterwards to form pages um so there'll be some digital but it won't start there um i don't want to get too refined i want it to stay organic and authentic um as far as publishing location tapaz is an all right place to go i think it allows for a little more fluidity in structure and people are a little more used to seeing organic like creative stories on there than they are on like webtoon and other online formats I ultimately would love to have a physical publication of it, but I don't have the current, like, fan base or the per like, you know, I don't have a, a support to build on that. Um, I will be putting some progress stuff in Patreon as well. Um, don't really expect to see too much on there, though, because I, it takes a little bit to get stuff on there. I wish you could just upload videos straight up, but you have to, like, put them on YouTube and then put a link in. So it's kind of, like, it's extra steps, but it's okay. I'll do what I can to like publish photos and other stuff that's going on. Um, but yeah, that's that's the that's the gist. That's where we're at right now.
I took all the handles and I made them into like strips so I can literally make like comic strips um, just to keep myself working on it pretty consistently not about making good ones Whoa.